Hello everyone, this is Mo and welcome to one more install. This one it should be easy. We change a little bit of strategy so you will learn as we go. We're installing G points right now outside, okay? And we just pass the Ethernet cable through here to plug it into an access point or a router, whatever is needed. So because this site is already done. So we're going to first make sure that we have a signal. Okay, so we have minus 13, which is okay. Um, but I will still want to add the attenuator. All right. But before that, let's go ahead and install this GPON. So this client already made the call, made the payment for whatever is needed to get hooked up. to do now is just unplug and that's it this is all we have to do this is the box we put a lock it's not a very sophisticated lock but okay let me get the power right now and we put the up oh, I forgot to put the attenuator so I'm going to assume 3 dB, that's what I'm looking to attenuate the signal at, which is perfect. I've been using a lot of 3 dBs lately. So there you go. This is 3 dB right here. So that should bring you around 15, and that's what I'm really looking for. as they will attenuate the signal. So I believe the way it was quite a bit better. Nice to pull. There you go. I should do it this way. Get the power, power it, and we'll go from there. Again, here's this battery. The peewee, we clear up the table a little bit, and the bench table. Then put the power, plug it in, and peewee light up. And then attach it here for configuration. 
right? So, see the power? We all know if all LEDs are white, that means everything is set properly. So now it's power cycling and Alright, I see it is probably doing some updates. Still blinking white, orange, white, orange, white, orange. There you go, now it's completely white. What does that mean? That is in adoption mode right now. So let me connect my computer and then see what we got. It's easy setup. And then we'll set up later on the, v the, the VLANs and whatever is needed for this client to be in, this, in the right routes. We don't want them to be in the wrong VLAN by accident. And then we'll be in a little trouble. So let me log in now. See if by default we have an IP address. plugged in, he's blinking, and we're waiting, let's see if we get an IP address, yes we do. And we have been prompted to, so let's try to take Google here. Just nobody see what, I, what I'm doing. Okay, so nothing go on because uh, the VLAN that the network, remember? I don't know if I did a video about this. Alright, let's, let's get in here. Let me just clean up a little bit the browser. There you go. I'll show you this in just one second. Okay. Alright. This is freshly installed Gpon. It already has the two lights for the OLT communication and then it has the power. So it's powered. It's connected to the PoE and then from the PoE it comes to my computer. I don't know if I did a video about this or not. Anytime when a subscriber he is not in my network, he's not a client, because we leave this Gpon here and we leave the Ethernet cable inside. We don't take nothing out. If they leave and somebody else eventually will move in, this is a short lease terms. So when they connect to the internet, like me, I find the cable inside, for example, and I'm connecting to it. Okay. By default, it should take me to an advertisement page. All right. That will give them an information how to contact us and how to get the internet going. Um, it works better. Through the Wi-Fi 
if they do that through the phone, but through the hardwire and due to that in the DNS, it's not local. It takes a little bit of time, but this is the page. It's going to pop up. There is no internet in this, in this connection. It's just a page down them that the fiber is available here and call 352-310-1644 to get connected. But on top of that, we add a few things. Now we take the ACP program, the price per month, um, also a couple of information. There is no contract. So this is not internet here. This page is being broadcasted locally through a specific VLAN that by default any dead connection will just go into it. Okay. And there we see here the ACP program, how they should do it, and then like a directory for the park. But we can also, like I said, add a pizza local that they want to add their thing here because people don't need internet to access that. All right, so now we are sure that the GPON is getting some information from our main router and it's connected to the OLT. Now let's set it up to the proper VLAN and then set it up to the proper speed that the, this client signed up for and then we'll go from there. Let me log in, get that ready, and I will come back in a few seconds. All right, so we set the GPON. GPON number... 65 water mode that's the download and upload speed for that this client and we gonna go so what we have here the jeep on is already set and configured for what the client choose as a plan it's connected to the poe from the poe to my computer and again, we're going to do a speed test just to confirm that we have connection. Okay, again, 740 milliseconds response, about 110 download and about 100 upload, I believe. So, service is promised, 100 up and 100 down. That's what we offer here. If you need more, just a phone call to Christina and she should be able to push you to 500 or 1 gig, whatever you need. Now we believe 100 up and 100 down is good enough. There is no reason to pay for something that you're not going to be using, but if you're willing to pay, hey, I don't mind doing it. All right, so today is done, ready. All we have to do now, just disconnect the Ethernet cable, pull one that goes through the hole, comes up from the other side, loop it nice and neat and when they moved in all they have to do either connect it to one of our access points that will provide or if they need their own router that's very easy just plug their router to the one section and you're good to go see you in the next one forget to tell you just once we're done we have to make sure our system is locked up so we're going to use the state of our locking mechanism it's called the ZF 9 to lock me or take me. I'm joking. I'm just going to use the cheapest lock that I find in Amazon. I think you can open it even with a fork. It's not to secure it. It's just to make sure that it's, it somehow has a lock on it. Alright. So we're done. And I have another one. So I may make a video of the other one too. I know it sounded like the same routine but if you install is different, I make sure of that. See ya.